welcome to my class. For today's video, I am going to navigate through Maya 2022 and show you the tools uh, I usually use when I create 3D items. Now, disclaimer, I do not have any background knowledge about 3D creating, so this is all self-taught. And I'll probably describe it using my own words. So yes, I'm also filming this live, so I am very sorry for my grammatical errors and stutters. So without further ado, let's get started, meow! Okay, so uh, here is the Maya 2022. Of course, the first thing we'll do is set it up. Now to set it up, the first thing you'll do is uh, open the outliner. To open this, just click Windows and then Outliner. And then this will show. And for the poly count, I think it's on display. And heads up display and the poly count. So that you can see this. This is the poly count, the faces, and the tries. Uh, in the studio, if you check the studio, you can see that there are uh, maximum allowed tries per category. So you'll have to take note of the values that shows up here. Anyway, anyways, um, let's go to poly modeling. Uh, these are the different shapes that you can use to model your item. You can shape it however you want by uh, resizing it, something like that. So yes, let's take out a cube as an example for this demo. To navigate through the workspace, this is the workspace. To make it uh, move around, just hold on Alt and then your pointer. I mean, uh, left click of your mouse to move it around. Now while we are at it, you can also right click and then do it like this and you can zoom it. You can also use the middle button of your mouse without holding down Alt. So it's like the middle button and Alt then right click for just zooming like this, okay? So let's now head on with the, with the shortcuts for the Maya tools. We've got Q. I'm sorry for my cat. Uh, Q for this uh, select tool. This helps you select the shape or the item that you created. Q, uh, w for move tool. If you select this, you can move it left, right, uh, front, back, and then up and down. And if you click E, it is the rotate tool. Of course, from the word itself, you can rotate the item or in this case, the shape. And R for the scale tool or the resize tool. Of course, you can resize it this way. So yes, that's for the shortcuts for modeling. Now, this one is the wireframe mode. It shows you every single thing. Example, I opened, I mean, I added the circle. As you can see, I can see both of them inside. But if you select this, I call this the face tool because you can see it. It's like an opaque and this is like transparent, if you get what I mean. So yes, uh, while we are at it, let me show you another um, tool that I use while poly modeling. I mean creating 3D items. Is that if you select this, then shift, then select, go to mesh, combine. You can combine two different items at once and move it at the same time. Now, if you would want to separate it, you can, of course, use separate. And then for the reduce, just click this as an example. If you click reduce, of course, it will, um, I mean, the poly count will be a lot lesser than the normal one. So you can see the percentage is 50. So the poly count was reduced by 50% because it's a percentage. So yes. Okay, let's control Z. Control Z is the undo button. And uh, its partner is control Y, which is the redo button. So, okay. Hmm. 
Um, what else? Oh, the perspectives. Uh, this is the perspective view. The one you can toggle on. I mean, you can uh, change views on manually. And then this one is the top. Just drag, drop it, and you can see that it's top. You can move it because it is locked. Then the next one is the front. Jump. And then the side. Okay. And then the perspective once again. I personally love the perspective mode because you can freely move around the camera. So yes, um, for the other shortcuts that I know is F2 is for modeling, F3 is for rigging, F4 is for animation, F5 is for FX or FX, uh, F6 is for rendering. Now for a uh, selection of the shapes like the faces and such, uh, let me click this. F8 for component selection. Like, uh, you can select this, 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 this. <laughs> uh, F9 for vertex selection. This is the vertex points. Uh, F10 for edge selection. As you can see, as I double click, you can see that I can select the edges. F11 for face selection. Uh, this right here. And F8 for object selection. Uh, the most commonly used is the object selection and the face selection. Now let me show you another tool which is this one. I call this the knife tool. This is used to cut through faces like this. It became two. <laughs> I divide it into two. Let me divide it into four. Like that. Uh, you can delete it. I am going to click Q, select this, and then press delete on my keyboard. And as you can see, it's deleted. And not like this, when I delete it, it's a whole face. This one is already cut, if that makes sense. Okay, so the next tool is this one. I call this the pinpoint uh, wheel tool. <laughs> I make things complicated, but you know. Uh, I am learning that way. Anyways, um, if you use this tool, you can um, what do you call that? You can connect two vertex points like this, specific ones like you select this and then you select that or this or this. Basically, you have to uh, match two points to connect it. Now, this an another tool is this one this lets you connect two edges and also pinpoints i mean vertex points but what i like about this tool is it's magnetic look at that pam, pam, pam. see it's like attracted to each other um but this one is like you'll need to select two vertex point to connect it so yes let me connect this or wrong point wrong point okay now that's actually just it let me go back to face selection mode and f2 for modeling you can also do symmetry object x you can select this two you can select two faces at the same time as long as it's symmetrical and the rest of the tools i will discuss it while we create 3d items okay okay that's it for this video as always thank you so much for watching and bye bye